think, Mike, one of the most exciting things of uh, studying at Liverpool is uh, the opportunity you get to have a broader uh, interest in your research. That's involve people in uh, manufacturing, people in robotics, people in the aero uh, part of the aerospace. We have people working on AI as well. This, I think, was what I found more, most exciting about this department, how diverse the research uh, project could be. Uh, and it's all up to, uh, to you to decide which path. And I think his students have this opportunity through, the, through these courses to choose the path they're more in love to. Uh, and this, I think, is, is, is great. We are a very friendly department. Our, our cohort is probably about a third international students, two thirds UK students. And we think that's a really good thing because of course aerospace is a, a global industry and so students have to get used to working with students who maybe think differently, have come from different backgrounds, uh, have a different academic outlook uh, on life. It all forms part of their preparation for becoming a global aerospace engineer. I think, Mike, one of the most exciting things of uh, studying at Liverpool is the different programs a student can engage if they come to study in Liverpool. So we do now have a very wide choice uh, of courses. So you can study aerospace engineering, but we also run a course called Aerospace Engineering with Pilot Studies. Beyond that though, we have a, a range of courses that will allow you to spread your wings even further. Things like Aerospace Engineering with a year in China, um, Aerospace Engineering um, with a year abroad, and Aerospace Engineering uh, with a year in industry. We run dual PhD programs in places like Taiwan, Singapore, and Hong Kong. Um, I have a project, European project, where we have students uh, who are doing studying for joint PhDs. Um, so there's a, there's a wide range of opportunities. Uh, into, you know, you come to Liverpool, but you can spend time uh, elsewhere uh, to um, broaden your studies. At Liverpool, we're um, at the forefront in the UK of an initiative called Conceive, Design, Implement, Operate, CDIO. We try to use active learning, which is one of the philosophy of our department. And that has been inspired by many of the project, capstone projects we had uh, in our aerospace group, which you have been leading. It's not just about knowing engineering, it's about understanding industrial processes. Our students do uh, what we call a capstone project, where they design, build and test some kind of aerial vehicle, but we go beyond that by uh, ensuring that there's industrial input. So we have local aerospace engineering employers uh, come and help to assess our students, help to provide feedback so that uh, when they leave, they are industry ready. And we know from our students who've reported back that employers really love this type of project. They love the experience that they get uh, and makes them uh, highly employable. You've developed uh, a course at master's level that's probably unique in the UK around space mission design. So maybe you could just uh, tell us a little bit more detail about that module. It's quite specialised. Uh, it gives the student the opportunity to um, make use of industrial ready problem to apply on for space mission design. For instance, uh, last year we, we planned a mission on Jupiter. Because you're still active in space missions. Yes, exactly. I had the opportunity to bring to the class my collaboration with ESA, NASA and JAXA on their uh, asteroid mission, which is quite exciting. And this kind of activity is what I try to bring to the class and inspire my students based on the work and the project I'm collaborating in. We've just spent um, a lot of money refurbishing our wind tunnel facilities. A lot of the aerospace students do um, projects based on our simulation facilities. So not only our research simulators, but we have a lab uh, of different aircraft simulators that have essentially been built by past students. So you can fly a jet stream, you can fly a fast jet, you can fly a, a, a light aircraft. And from an aerospace perspective, the most exciting is the Harsh Environment Lab. We're building basically a big drone arena, so an indoor arena where we can fly drones and um, subject them to the sorts of conditions that they're likely to encounter in the real world rather than a lab something we get asked a lot, what do you need to be an engineer? I think most of all you have to be a curious person, uh, wanting to solve problems, 
math, of course, is one of the major things we do in engineering, but there is a lot of other aspects like design, but the message is that basically engineering is open to anyone that has a curious mind and really is interested in solving new problems, advanced new problems for uh, the aerospace industry in this case. We send a lot of students to what you might term the usual suspects, so the BA systems, the Airbuses, the STL, those sorts of places. But we also, uh, you know, as an engineering graduate, you're numerate, you can write reports, you can present well. And so those skills are very attractive to the likes of uh, the consultancy firms, uh, to accountancy firms. We, we send people to uh, the armed forces, as you can imagine, we have lots of people interested in flying. And of course, most recently, one of our graduates, Colin Bennett, uh, was in uh, the Virgin Galactic ship that just recently reached the edge of space. One of the students was working on uh, a project which is in collaboration with the Japanese Space Agency and the French Space Agency, which is called uh, MMX Mission, to send a satellite to one of the moons of Mars, Phobos, to retrieve some sample. The student has been working on a real problem that JAXA and the CNES had, which was designing transfer orbit around uh, Phobos. And uh, for me, this was a success story because the student was so passionate about it that he decided to go for a PhD after that. And I think for a researcher, it's always nice to see that students are both inspired to go to industry or to go to, to academia and research work.